They was beavely born again in Valheim. So hello everyone, you can call me Nerdy. Today we're going to do a little bit of a tips and tricks video on Valheim. And I'm not to say that this is what you should absolutely 100% do. And everyone plays things differently. This is just some tips and tricks just to get you started. So we obviously start off here in the stones. So your first thing you'll do is hit this sacrificial stone. It will give you a little blurb on the very first boss you'll have to face talk to Hugin again and then it will show you where he is on the map so he's actually quite close which isn't too bad with that in mind we don't worry about that now what you want to do first I have found is go and oh Jesus a lot of these around I wasn't expecting that many but the first things you want to be doing is you want to be running around these trees are ideal for what i was going to show first which is just keep punching the trees you'll get wood it will put your unarmed skill up so quickly or if you really want a bit of a challenge which it will give you no wood or actually go and beat these things up as well anything like that will push your you're unarmed up even punching these beech trees which will give zero attack will actually see put your unarmed up while you're also doing that you want to be sprinting around when you've got the stamina jumping as much as you can while you still have the stamina just basically improving any level you can straight away at the same time you need to be picking up as much wood, stone, and anything like that that you can. We will just, we will remember that shack. It's down there. I want to go back to the starting circle just to show you. Because it always kind of gives you a few bits. I, I ran off because I saw some enemies and I just wanted to punch them. So here you have some branches for your wood. You also have some stones to pick up that's everything not everything you pick up but a lot of things you pick up will unlock recipes for you so obviously you do want to keep an eye on that because what you will find is as you go along the weapons you have aren't going to be the greatest so you are going to want to to learn as much as you can there my my unarmed is already up to level seven that is just from that so if you open up your tab if you click tab and open up your inventory button there on the skills it tells you all of the things so blocking clubs jump run and unarmed all going up and how close you are to each so if I just back out and I just do a little run there we go that's up to level two so back into here these are the four things you can craft at first you do start off the torch so we don't need to worry about that so much but the club I would say craft the club first simply because you will find a lot of boars around here and that will obviously help you to get meat which you're going to need leather leather scraps which is also very good just just keep an eye on your health my health has gone extremely low there and I didn't realize the other thing to be looking out for is these is these little houses you can build rebuild these houses what have we got there got amber can I be eaten no um there you go and some flint so we'll take all of that just keep going along, keep collecting. You don't even have to bash down the trees, which means what you could do is use all of your energy on sprinting around to get the run up, do some jumps every now and then, just to get you, just to improve on everything. And then eventually you will have enough stuff 
to make your axe and your hammer now the hammer is quite important because that is the one you use to build build your main houses but what we're looking for first before we even worry about the houses before we even worry about building anything is we're looking for a river jesus christ man just come at me yes i died so every time you die your skills get lowered so i suggest not dying now this is the next thing i would suggest doing is finding oh and the structure as well what the hell's that there is that a grayling that is a grayling oh if i can just hit him ember they only ever seem to drop ember which is a bit annoying so there's a nice little house here no chest oh oh yep there it is i didn't see it there for a second feathers and some coins So yeah, so the next thing I suggest is to try and get near a riverbed. Now, the reason for this is flint is extremely important. And the reason I say do this before you start building is because you can upgrade your table straight away with some flint. So I'm going to just kind of follow the river around a little bit. This, this is a dead end bit of it. Yeah, so there might be some stuff here. So I'm actually going to not run past the flint. There I am saying pick up all the flint and I just run past it. Um, so yes, try and find a river bed. Get as much flint as possible. You'll also find stones, branches. You'll also find enemies. Luckily the enemies here aren't so bad. Okay, so another quick tip. If you see anything like those, just stand around where they can't see you. Just keep moving backwards and forwards. It reminds me of the old Skyrim cheat to sneak. Where you could kind of just back up against the building and sneak behind a guard that never moved. And that would be your sneak done. This, this is very reminiscent of that. But just know as soon as your stamina goes down, you will stand back up. So be very careful which way you're kind of directing yourself. Yeah, you can you can sneak around these guys. They won't they won't see you. Stick behind the tree. Just basically stay out of their their line of vision because uh, there's actually three of them there, and I don't really want to take them on with my low lowish health. So I just kind of want to get back to the starting area. Is this a building we've already been in? The only thing I would say as well is be careful of these buildings. If you hear a buzzing sound, that'll be a beehive in there. And beehives are an absolute pain. So my advice is once you have made your club, and your and uh, your stone axe. It's time to make your hammer. And then with them come all brand new stuff. I would say what you want to do now is you'll be scouting out an area. You you don't want to be. You you really don't want to be going too far away from those pillars. Because you're going to need to go back to them. So your starter base, I would suggest, needs to be nearby. You've got the river just down there on this one. Obviously, every map starts off a little differently. But I've luckily, I've got the river down there, which will help me with any flint I need. And uh, get over the rock. And I, but, uh, this is a chest I've already been in. That's fine. So what you want to do is you want to find a nice area to build. Now it doesn't have to be perfect area. It just needs to be somewhere that you can build on. So I'm actually going to build right next to the stones. In fact, we are going to... Ah, this is what I was looking for before. So another tip is grab anything. When you see these, grab all the raspberries. Now you can have three meals backed up to help you keep your health up you can go for the raspberries but when you try for them again you can't eat more raspberries so what you need is three different things now i usually have raspberries 
mushrooms and some meat now the meat you have you're going to have to wait until you've got all of this got all the stuff put down which we will show you right now so this is what I'm going to build so equip your hammer and the first thing you need to put down is a workbench it will you will end up breaking this down because for it to do anything you annoyingly need it under shelter which it won't be until you build a house for it if you can even put fireplace but so but you can't build a building any building until you have put this down so it's it's kind of a catch 20 22 situation okay so we are going to build just a very small house Best thing to do is to start off with your floor. I can actually find where I put my floor. Right, there's one. Okay, and with that, you're going to want to put support pillars. Now, this might seem crazy because you've already put the things down, but this isn't rust. This isn't the forest. Things do not float in this. But that is a basic shape to your house. And that's looking good but we need more wood so I'm gonna go and get some wood and then we will continue so here we are my little tiny shack I don't need much you won't need much to start with personally I don't think because uh, you will kind of explore more and want to build elsewhere now a couple of things I do want to point out that as you can see my axe is damaged we will fix that in very shortly and I'll show you how so we now want to go to our workbench now the crafting station needs a roof so this is where you want to destroy your crafting station once you've built once you've built your little house however big you want to build it oh I need to take the hammer away the first thing you want to do is put your crafting bench inside now the only thing I would suggest is to worry about where your bed is going to be now your bed is going to be important because your bed will need a fireplace nearby so I have my fireplace right outside there so my bed if I actually have enough to craft a bed I do my bed is going to go right here And there is Hugan again to tell me you can sleep. So you might think, ah, I can use my workbench. Ah, I need a roof. The same as the bed. So you don't necessarily, I'm going to have to get more wood. Just very quickly. But now you don't necessarily have to have a roof all the way across. And as a starter probably not going to be needed so while I'm outside I am going to I am going to put a drying rack up now we are also I am also going to show you something on here to be wary of now my thing is down here so I'm going to put that there this is where I needed the flint so I need 10 flint to make that as you can see that is now there that is improved the workstation so what I'm now going to show you is, you can put the meat down just by pressing E, it will put the first default thing down. Now it's all about sound. Once you hear a, a hissing sound, that means you'll hear a hissing sound for them to go on, you'll then hear another hissing sound when they're done. Now I'm going to try and pull one off as soon as it hisses. It doesn't take long, he says. I'm going to leave the other one on there. So I'm going to pick up the cooked meat. And when you see, you'll see in the bottom, I now have the raspberry and the meat. I can't eat any more raspberries. If I let that just keep going, it will turn to coal. But if you now do that and you end up with coal, which means you can build a sign. I'm going to put a roof there. 
and a roof there and then we're going to put a roof there and a roof there so with that we should now be able to claim the bed so we have a resting point get on the workbench and if you click the little hammer icon everything gets repaired for free that's that's the best thing about that you can then also with the the whole point i wanted the the thing underneath the upgrade was just for the simple fact that you can upgrade your stone axe by having a level two you can also upgrade your hammer if you come back onto here you can actually make stuff with flint which is why you want a lot of flint and then you could probably upgrade the flint axe but obviously you are going to want to have a chest probably three or four I always keep one inside for valuables and then I chuck two or three outside as best as I can I try to put them underneath just because it looks a bit more aesthetically pleasing and of course the other good thing is is you can once you have it set up as I've just set my base up you can go and smash things to your heart's content because you know that even if the axe gets completely smashed up you can just go back and repair it for absolutely nothing so you don't need to use any resources on it okay so that's, that is my tips for Valheim just essentially punch things to start with build your way up as slowly as you can I would recommend just keep getting that experience on different areas on your clubs on your on your unhanded your unarmed whatever you want to call it do it on your axes your hammers everything everything you do will gain you levels I also recommend building the club then the axe then the hammer try and find a river collect stone wood and flint as much as you can before you even start building your home and once you build your home so I say something like this is a simple little starter it's effective it will work until you explore more and find more this is the map this is all I've explored and we've done we've we haven't gone far but we have gone around a little bit and there's still so much for me to find so if you enjoyed that please don't forget to leave a like subscribe comment whatever you want to do and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time